Gormiltsafe is most famous for working as songwriter and producer in Nautilus Pompilius, one of most popular rock bands in the Soviet Union and, later, Russia. He understood the English and French languages to a near-native level and translated books in these languages into his native Russian. Later, Kormiltsev founded Ultra.Culture Publishing House and managed it as the editor-in-chief since 2003 until his death in 2007. The publishing house became notorious in 2004, when Russian authorities accused it with propaganda of drug use and terrorism. In late 2006 all copies of the combined Ultra.Culture edition of Adam Parfrey's Apocalypse Culture and Apocalypse Culture 2 were sought by authorities, and most were seized and submitted to flames, owing to the book's inclusion of an essay by David Woodard that was alleged to promote recreational ketamine use. On a visit to London in January 2007, Kormiltsev fell down and injured his spine. On January 22, 2007 he was diagnosed with incurable spinal cancer and died on February 4, 2007, aged 47. Alexander Korodich designed a monument to a Russian poet Ilya Kormiltsev that was placed in Moscow in 2009. Gidar Jemal, chairman of the Islamic Committee of Russia, announced that Kormiltsev embraced Islam before his death. Although initially Kormiltsev's friends and relatives denied this had taken place, after the funeral, they announced that Kormiltsev had been buried in a savan, facing Mecca.